Greetings, royal family, and welcome to the 44th annual Feast of Weeks celebration. This feast is celebrated seven complete weeks following the Passover. This festival is one of the three greatest festivals held by Yisrael annually. To register for the current feast, visit us at www.yahweh144. 000.com and you can also pre-register for the upcoming feast at the same website www.yahweh144000.com enjoy revelations up there on that wall all i know is you wouldn't want to meet no beast like that person over there i know that you, want, you wouldn't want to be in no ocean with something to rise up out the water like that on you, would you? You spend all your time running from that thing, wouldn't you? And, and if you understood that symbol, you'd have your tennis shoes on now. Because that represents somebody. That's not an empty threat on the wall. That's serious business. Your life depends on understanding that. Your future and salvation depends on you understanding that symbol on that wall right there. Every detail in that picture. I'm the one put that up there. And you come to the auditorium and just look at that and you just go on about your business. I don't know how anybody could come in this auditorium, look up on that wall and see that first picture over there next to that A and talk to somebody. <laughs> I'd be so mystified trying to figure out what that is and trying to study and come up with that. I, I, I don't know how anybody could come in here and even talk. That's a whip, isn't it? Look at that thing. Isn't that ugly looking? Fierce, isn't it? You better believe it's worse than the way it looks on that picture. That animal is alive. That beast is alive and well and running around loose and got you in his teeth and you don't even know it. Yeah, it got you and you don't know it. I mean, you are totally possessed by that beast and don't understand it. Totally possessed. Who can know it? <laughs> Anything running around like that that can devour you and your children, you shouldn't want it to continue to exist. <laughs> but when you can't identify that, you can't fight it. I said it got you. The, that, 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 the, the beast that picture represents got you. And you don't understand it got you. And it hurts too. It's called pain and suffering. Tears and sorrow. Hunger and death. Hmm? Poverty. Abuse. Sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we're right to that first picture. Don't even worry about that second one. That second one is, woo! All those hands. I mean, being bit by a pit bull would be enough to be bit by something coming off, flying through the sky, and up above the water, and with all those heads. How many times would you like to be trying to fight one head and got seven more heads after you? Six more heads after you. Would you like to meet a beast like that? Well, he exists. <laughs> yeah, see? You need a lot of studying. In the meantime, did we read verse 26 yet? Just now? Yeah, we read it. You're supposed to be bringing something to the Lord Yahweh. Some kind of offering. Now, how 
would you look like bringing a steak from New York all the way to Florida to God in your car? And you think God wants an old purple, rotten, stanky smelling, putrid steak. Tell me, here's your offering, God. <laughs> this must mean something else today. You don't know any more about what it means than you do where January came from. Isn't that a mystery? In the meantime, this explains why you don't know the importance of the law of the Feast of Weeks. But at least this feast, you begin it for the first time in your life to learn the importance of the law of the Feast of Weeks. Thoughts you never heard before in your life are now a blessing to you in regard to the law of the Feast of Weeks. From what you've learned this week, how many of you are benefiting from the knowledge of the law of the Feast of Weeks. You have a new attitude about life. And you say it's beneficial? Very beneficial. A little beneficial? How much money can this knowledge mean to you about the law of the Feast of Weeks? Priceless infinite wealth. Priceless, infinite wealth is what you obtain from the knowledge of the law of the Feast of Weeks. By obtaining the knowledge, it's not enough to obtain, obtain it now. You must, there's one more thing you have to do. What is it? Apply it, practice it. Apply. To make use of. To assign to a specific purpose. To employ diligently. Apply. To bring into operation or use. Apply. Concentrate on what you are doing. To put to or adapt for a special use. Apply the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply. To put into action the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply. To direct the attention or energy of oneself to an activity or pursuit. So we would direct our attention and our energy to the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply to devote to something. That something will devote to Yute Wape and the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply, utilize, utilize this knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply, engage, employ, practice, exercise, execute the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Direct, bring into effect in your life. Actualize the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. Apply, carry out the knowledge gained from the law of the Feast of Weeks. Apply. Devote. Devote your mind. Devote your attention. Dedicate your life to Yahweh and the law of the Feast of Weeks. Apply. Give wholly to. Be assiduous. Persevere in the knowledge of the law of the Feast of Weeks. Work at labor at or over, sweat over the knowledge of the law of the Feast of Weeks. Apply, buckle down to this knowledge. Apply, put one's nose to. Apply, study, concentrate. Apply, practice the knowledge of the Feast of Weeks. You got to go to work. And sow some seeds. That belong to Yahweh. 
and it means infinite wealth to you, for you and your children and families, forever. <laughs> That's what we're learning from the law of the Feast of Weeks by applying this knowledge. What does it mean for the rest of our people who are out in the street, sleeping under bridges and can't pay their rent and going hungry tonight? What does this knowledge mean to them? Absolutely nothing. Why? Because they have not kept the law of the Feast of Weeks. Greetings, royal family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Wafe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yute Wafe. Praise Yute Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yute Wafe. Shalom, world family. Thank you.